like to beg your indulgence a little bit be today because uh, St. Bernard of Clairvaux, uh, say Bernard, and uh, some people say Bernard, but I think of Bernard as a St. Bernard the dog, so <laughs> this is the abbot, Bernard. And uh, he was, I mentioned, the mellifluous doctor, such a powerful preacher that people came from all over, emperors, kings, popes, princes, queens, peasants, to, to listen to him. And at the age of 22, he went into the monastery with uh, four of his brothers and, and 27 other male relatives that joined him. And it was no, long, no time before he became the abbot. I think they might have stacked the votes in his favor. But in any way, he's the great figure of the, of the uh, 12th century, the 1100s. And, and he had, uh, we still have over 900 of his sermons. And, and I, what I'd beg your indulgence for is, is this one. It's a piece of, of one of his best sermons, and it's, it's so beautiful. And the context is Mary, right at that moment when the angel Gabriel announces to her this great news, and, and it's uh, the tension that's in the air which he captures. So here's what he says. This is a quote directly from St. Bernard of Clairvaux. You have heard, O virgin, that you will conceive and bear a son. You have heard that it will not be by man, but by the Holy Spirit. The angel awaits an answer. It is time for him to return to God who sent him. We too are waiting, O lady, for your word of compassion. The sentence of condemnation weighs heavily upon us. The price of our salvation is offered to you. We shall be set free at once if you consent. In the eternal word of God, we all came to be, and behold, we die. In your brief response, we are to be remade in order to be recalled to life. Tearful Adam, with his sorrowing family, begs this of you, O, lo o loving virgin, in their exile from paradise. Abraham begs you, David begs you, all the holy patriarchs, your ancestors, ask it of you as they dwell in the country of the shadow of death. This is what the whole earth waits for, prostrate at your feet. It is right in doing so, for on your word depends comfort for the wretched, ransom for the captive, freedom for the condemned. Indeed, salvation for all the sons and daughters of Adam, the whole of your race. Answer quickly, O virgin. Reply in haste to the angel, or rather through the angel to the Lord. Answer with a word. Receive the word of God. Speak your own word and conceive the divine word. Breathe a passing word and embrace the eternal word. Why do you delay? Why are you afraid? Believe, give praise, and receive. Let humility be bold. Let modesty be confident. This is no time for virginal simplicity to forget prudence. In this matter alone, O prudent virgin, virgin, do not fear to be presumptuous. Though modest silence is pleasing, dutiful speech is now more necessary. So open your heart to faith, O blessed Virgin, your lips to praise, your womb to the Creator. See the desired of all nations is at your door, knocking to enter. If he should pass by because of your delay, in sorrow you would begin to seek him afresh, the one whom your soul loves. Arise, hasten, open, arise in faith, hasten in devotion open in praise and thanksgiving. And she responds, Fiat, behold the handmaid of the Lord. She says, be it done to me according to your word. We are so blessed because of her fiat.